Today, we'll be looking at how Japan will soon be using AI to help you find your soulmate. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. Over the last 13 years, Japan's population has shrunk every year. The nation has one of the lowest birth rates in the world, and not enough babies are born to replace the aging population. Japan still has the largest percentage of people over 65 of any country in the world. The reasons for the baby bust are not entirely clear, but some of the leading factors may include economic poverty, women prioritizing their jobs over family upbringing, and rigid immigration rules that leave few future childbearing aliens behind. In 2019, only 864,000 babies were born in Japan, a 5.9% decline from the previous year, which was also an unprecedented low. And perhaps predictably, it doesn't stop there. Young people in Japan seem to have lost interest not only in babies, but in marriage, dating, and even sex. Marriage declined from 800,000 in 2000 to 600,000 last year. The Japanese government is worried, to put it mildly, and with good reason. The economy of the nation and the well-being of its citizens are at stake. Japan's cabinet office revealed last week that it is investing 2 billion yen, or $19.2 million, into an effort that it hopes would provide a much-needed boost to dating, love, sex, and babies. Artificially Intelligent Matchmaking If the notion that the government is interested with your sex life sounds odd, it's not a new phenomenon in Japan. The nation is divided into 47 prefectures, like small states, and about 25 of them now offer some kind of matchmaking service to citizens. They use rudimentary guidelines such as age, salary, and education to offer a list of potentially suitable romantic partners. The state-run Tinder, if you like. But as anyone who has ever been on a date, been in a relationship, or connected with another person in some remotely romantic way knows, love isn't as easy as matching age or income lines. There's a lot harder to make it work than that. Personality is essential to this. We want someone who's not only going to put up with us, but is going to find our unique quirks dear. These finer, complex personality traits are hard to catch in an algorithm but that's more or less what the new Japanese matchmaking platforms are going to do. Users will address questions about issues relevant to their preferences and beliefs, and the algorithm will then dredge up what it finds to be compatible. Several dating applications are now using AI. OkCupid uses machine learning both to connect people and as a community improvement tool. Tinder uses AI to search user images and filter offensive content. And an algorithm in an app that involves swiping right or left assigns to each individual a value of sorts, depending on how many people like him or her, and uses that value to decide the order in which to show possible matches based on their value. Yeah, the entire thing is pretty bad, but at some stage, it works. In the US, online dating is now the number one way that couples meet. Let's hope similar figures are coming out of Japan soon. Global Institute of Population and Social Security Research estimates that at existing birth rates, the population will decline from 127 million in 2015 to 88 million by 2065. For the sake of contrast, the U.S. population is projected to rise by 81 million over a comparable span of time, considering the fact that fertility rates are now at their own record lows. It is also important to remember here that the U.S. has a population more than two and a half times that of Japan. Love is difficult, and adding algorithms to the picture doesn't make things any easier. Anyone who uses a dating app knows that. Yet hard times call for desperate measures, and Japan seems to be in desperate times. With AI solving one dilemma after the other, deploying it to help cultivate some romance in a position where romance is sorely needed might not be the worst decision. What's your take on this? Let me know down below in the comments and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity, and I'll see you on the next one.